Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about things that you mainly shouldn't do on public transport here in Japan. If you've been to Japan before, you know how amazing the public transport here is. It's quiet, it's clean, it's tidy, everybody is typically respectful, it is usually always on time. It's an all-round pretty good experience to have and compared to any other public transport I've been on in any other countries, this one is by far the best. The reason it is the best is because there's sort of like some set rules and some unspoken rules that people here in Japan tend to follow. Now I know because I see other foreigners doing these things all the time and having lived here for over a year now it kind of disrupts my time on the train and I really don't like that. So yeah, if you can follow these few things you're gonna get less judgement you're gonna have a better experience, you're gonna be respectful of other people and we won't have such a bad name as, as foreigners here. I recently saw an article today, I think it was a joke article that uh, for the 2020 Olympics they're gonna have a gaijin carriage, a foreigner carriage, just because foreigners don't really understand or know the rules of the culture and uh, how we live life here in Japan. So if you're thinking of traveling to Japan and you want to follow the culture and you want to be respectful of the people then I would highly recommend you do these seven things. So these are not in like order of most important to least important, these are just completely random. So number one is don't blow your nose on the train. It's pretty much don't blow your nose in public. It is really really weird because people will kind of like snort up all their snot and just like keep swallowing it and keep snorting it up and like making all those disgusting phlegmy noises and that's okay. But to blow your nose is seen as rude. It's so crazy to me. Just don't blow your nose on the train. Just do what everyone else does and just suck up your snot and swallow it. <laughs> it's so gross I know but it's just how things are done around here. Number two, this is really, really, really important for foreigners traveling in Japan. Don't talk loudly on public transport. I know in other countries sometimes you have like buskers or people talking loudly and having conversations across the train carriages. Don't do that. Most of the time on a train you could literally whisper to each other and still be heard. It is that quiet on the train. There's no need to like be laughing loudly or yelling or I don't know what else you would do that's loud on a train, but just don't do it. Just be respectful of the people around you, quiet your conversation down and kind of keep it to yourselves. Number three kind of ties in with that one. Don't play things out loud, like on your phone. Don't play music out loud. It's like my number one pet hate when people do that in public. I don't understand why you're doing it. Don't play video games out loud. Don't play like YouTube videos out loud. Don't have your phone on loud. Like just turn your phone on silent and don't play anything out loud because once again it's going to disrupt the people around you and it just doesn't happen. Just, just don't do it. Just be respectful. <laughs> number four kind of similarly ties into that one as well. Don't take phone calls because you know when you're on the phone you're typically going to speak louder than what you are if you're having a conversation and it's just kind of yeah it's just kind of rude to take a phone call on the train as well. Some Japanese people do do it if you need to do it and then you're sitting down get up and go to like the midsection and kind of like quiet yourself and talk on the phone. Other than that, yeah, just don't accept the phone call. Number five, don't eat or drink on the train. You will see the odd salary man or old guy with a beer on the train, but like, you know, you don't often... I've never ever seen like younger Japanese people like drinking and having fun and laughing and making loud noises and being obnoxious. I've never seen that on the train. I sometimes see like a little lady will eat like a snack out of her bag or like a kid have it on a giri but other than that eating or drinking is pretty much a no-go. Like obviously if you're dying you can take a sip of water like no one's gonna judge you. If you're starving you can like have a bite of something but like same goes for Onshin Kansen. Like if you have something smelly like egg or tuna or something people are gonna turn their nose up at you like it's kind of just rude you know what I mean like don't have smelly foods on the train number six don't manspread for one you shouldn't be doing it anyway don't take up more room than you need to do you know what I mean like don't have your bag on the seat next to you put it in the compartment above you or between your legs on the ground don't manspread don't ever ever lay down on the seats in Japan don't do it just leave like be in your own space just keep to yourself and let somebody else take the space next to you 
Okay, so if you guys don't already know, we have women only carriages in the morning. It's typically from like 7 till 9 or 7.30 till 9.30. And as a man, you want to avoid those things at all costs. I believe they started because of the whole chicken pervert thing on the train. And also because there's a lot of salary men, like thousands and thousands of salary men that commute each morning on the train. So it's, it's, it's really nice to have a woman's only carriage. And if you as a man get on that carriage, it's not going to go down well. So just... There is signs and everything in English saying like women's only carriage in the morning. So yeah, just, just be mindful that you don't jump into one of those or you might get pushed back out. So that's seven things that you typically shouldn't do on the public transport system here in Japan. If you have any other suggestions or you've picked up anything along the way, please feel free to leave them in the comment box down below because there might have been something that I've missed, but that's just, that's the seven main things I make sure that I don't do here and it just makes everybody's experience so much better. I will give you a tip on something you can do on the public transport system here in Japan. I know in a Western culture, if somebody like falls asleep in public, people like to make fun of them and take videos of them or put things on them or draw things on them because we're all assholes. But in Japan, it's really, really common to fall asleep in public. I fall asleep on the train all the time. If you've got like a 20 minute journey and you're feeling sleepy, you can by all means just close your eyes and take a nap. Nobody is going to judge you. You will see it happening all the time, especially salarymen. They will just, you know, take a seat, put your, cross your arms and fall asleep. It's that easy. So yeah, I would, uh, it's one thing you can do. Um, just uh, don't snore too loudly, I suppose. Nobody likes to snore. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, if you have any recommendations, please also leave them in the box down below. If you guys are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the like button if you like what you see. Bye!